So epidermolysis bullosa is a class of rare genetic diseases that primarily affect the skin. So the skin is a very mechanical barrier and there are lots of structural proteins that make sure that the skin is um, a nice barrier to the outside world. So in EB, epidermolysis bullosa, those proteins are absent or mutated or dysfunctional. I'm actually one of those people who has the least severe form of EB called epidermolysis bullosa simplex dowling mara. We focus primarily on the most severe forms of it, that's the recessive dystrophic and junctional EB. By combining patients' gene edited cells along with the technology of 3D bioprinting, we're working on creating like a printed skin construct that can help to promote healing of the current blisters and also generate healthy skin tissue that can prevent future wounds from being formed. I'm a graduate student from mechanical engineering and we are collaborating with Toddler Lab to combine the 3D printing technology with the gene editing technology together and it's great to have, have the collaboration between different departments. The translational aspect is everything. And we are better doctors because we understand basic science and we are better scientists because we actually know what a patient with epidermolysis bullosa or some other disease uh, looks like. So the advantage of our group is that we have built in a complete fluency across the basic science and clinical care. That's where the translation is. The message with the patients is uh, one of hope, that there is a group of people uh, that is working on helping them must be uh, a life-sustaining and life-enhancing, I hope, uh, view of this.